this is how I check and adjust my squareness of my gantry. Uh, first of all, I set up a plate here, it's at 90 degrees, bolt it onto the table, and it doesn't matter exactly what angle it's at, because what I'm going to do is compare this angle to this angle. Now, this angle here won't change uh, very much with the gantry down to square, but this angle will. So, what we're going to do is probe first this, in this direction. And we'll just start a probing cycle. Uh, it'll probe two points, 50 millimeters apart. All right, that probe's given us a value of 11.77 degrees on that one angle. All right, now we probe the other axis. Now we're approaching the other axis and we've got an angle of 11.789. So we're 0 0.025 degrees out, which is fairly close, but it's not quite close enough. So what we do is go into settings. Here on our UC and CN page, we've got a back off homing units figure, which means how far the, the gantry on that axis will back off from the homing switch. So what we're going to do is change this number here to minus 21. We'll save that. Oh, didn't save. And then we'll re rehome the machine. All right, now the machine's homed. We'll redo that probing cycle again. Now that we've probed there, we find we've gone to 11.762 degrees, uh, which is actually overshot because the desired angle we're trying to get to is 11.775. So we'll go back into settings. We'll change this to somewhere in the middle. And you see and see, you need, seem to need to do it twice. And we'll run another homing cycle. Right, now the homing cycle is finished. We'll come back to where we were. And we'll redo the probe again. And after that probe there, we've got an angle of 11.775, which is about spot on. And we'll just go across now to our other side, so we can reprobe it. And start our probing cycle. Now, after probing the other axis, we've got an angle of 11.778. So, according to our figures here, at this stage we're only 0 0.003 degrees or 0 0.003 millimetres out, which is close enough for what we need to do for this machine. <laughs> 